Hello everyone, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and I am doing a special reading for you right now, um, the sign of Leo and this is a custom spread that I designed for myself and then Spirit gave me a very strong message that I should do one for each zodiac sign. This message has no timetable. It applies to you when you stumble across it and all of these messages will apply to a few of you and for a few of you um, all of these messages apply which is what I just said and for all of you a few of these messages will apply and so uh, this reading is about what you're desiring to manifest at this time the most and so we're just going to pull one card from this deck that will show us that which you are desiring to manifest at this time hmm. and the card we pulled is the hermit the hermit is the spiritual spiritual person who is in touch with himself and this person also holds the light for others that they can see their way this person is somebody you want to be somebody who is able to share your spiritual mastery with the brothers and sisters of humanity. For somebody else, this is not so much about the outward expression of it, but you want to just be in touch more with your own self. You want to be able to follow the leadings of your soul in a greater degree. And this is coming from the fact that you have been putting your effort in a lot of different um, tasks and projects and relationships for some of you. I mean, in these words, again, apply differently towards all of you, but uh, you've been putting your energy into all these different things for so long and you're wanting to find greater guidance so that you feel like you can reach through a sort of a shortcut. Uh, you want to avoid unnecessary experiences so that you can so that you can be able to manifest and better experience things the way you want to for somebody you're looking for inner guidance because you're in the middle of a legal situation and you're going to be facing a judge soon and you've got to show that mm, you are at work that you are doing the work that you need to do you need this judge to see that uh, for others of you, you have been doing this same routine for quite a while, several years, and maybe eight years, and what you're wanting, you're wanting a change, you're wanting to do something more uh, from, a, from this physical place, you're wanting to go more into a intellectual place into a spiritual place and that's because you've received recently some greater clarity and understanding and uh, you've had some sp recent awakening for some of you spiritual awakening recently for some of you that has put you in a place where you really wanting to uh, embrace that more 
for somebody out there, oh, I just got that strong. For somebody out there, the work that you're doing doesn't harmonize with your spiritual beliefs. Like, for example, you, somebody is working at a company and the company, what your product is or what you're producing or, or the details of your work are outside of harmony with your goal, for example for you might have learned recently the detriment uh to humans with the use of fluoride and then yet you're working in a company that puts fluoride in the water or something like that and so what will help you to manifest this ability to follow this guidance is to notice mm, okay notice how once you've decided on something Think about how it came to be in your hand. Think about the different times and situations and circumstances where you had a thought, something that was truly passionate, and then it kind of fluttered by the side of your mind. You let it go, and the next thing you know, it manifested. Think about that because just that easy. When we can want a thought, oh, it's, it's, oh God, when we want something that easily, that it's just a flutter of a thought past the side of your mind, and then you let it go and you move on, it manifests quite rapidly in your hand. And so that will help you because it's, it's going to allow you to move on to what you're wanting to see. Now mentally what you can do is focus on what is the what is the highest possible outcomes for you what are the highest possible outcomes for you because know and understand that the more highest possible bliss outcomes that you can um, mentally manifest the universe can manifest multiples of that and I'm talking vast multiples of that at any given point in time and so what you do is you put yourself in alignment with receiving those higher possible outcomes and so what does it feel like for you to be that one who is so spiritually connected what does it feel like when you have a strong connection and you're able to just know what to do and know it so well that you're able to share it with others and use it to move on to a place that feels better, um, a place of greater truth, a great place of greater, uh, of greater satisfaction and um, accomplishment that you can be proud of. The message for s f the Spirit wants you to know that you don't already know. What Spirit wants you to understand is that things are, are going to move quickly for you now. With this new understanding that you've come into, and you're beginning to apply these simple little things that we've talked about, things are going to start manifesting for you quickly. You're going to start quickly seeing progress in this and the universe is always in harmony with that because where you feel like you are not able to receive the messages the only thing that stops you from receiving the messages is your belief that you can't receive the messages so once you start getting in touch with all the little ways that you had this manifest and that manifest and this worked out and that worked out and you thought about this person and they called and you really wanted a toaster like that and somebody gave you one and little things like that that helps you connect greater to this power that is always there because spirit is always ready to go on your behalf and bring you anything the very instant that you have this thought and line up with you the very instant you have the thought it's it instantly um, crosses all barriers of time and space and all that's left is for you to line up with a belief in it and then you can have it in your hand tangible just like that tangibly in your hand so uh, keep your mind focused on the 
this bliss that you receive in that feeling of accomplishment and bliss and happiness and oh my god excitement every time you manifested something in your hand that you were wanting do your meditations as you meditate imagine the figure eight if you would physically take your finger and draw a figure eight it goes out goes in it goes in it goes out right so see how it goes in and out and then in so it goes in twice from this side and it goes out twice from that side right so while you're breathing imagine this figure eight coming in from a circle down to Gaia it circled down all the way to Gaia circles up all into the universe and brings down and so that way you connect to both the universe above and Gaia below at one meditation this figure eight meditation this abundance meditation this meditation right here and so you're doing this and while you breathe in you're breathing in and you're pushing the air from this whole cycle you breathe in and it comes in this way and it comes in this way and you add to it and you breathe out and it blows out this way and this way and it goes and it pushes that um, energetic cycle to move faster and faster and faster and visualize that because it's going to allow you to grow this that's a meditation for you that's a meditation that was um, received by me through channeling that I have been doing and I must say, it works amazingly. And so, I am so grateful that I have so much support on YouTube. And that so many of you are choosing to support me as well on my Facebook, on my, on my artist page, Melinda Neal Fanatic, and my Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot. And I want to let you know... Um, that when you're on this page, um, Melinda Nail Fanatic, you'll be connected to all of my different arts. I am a Renaissance woman, and I, I do many things. And um, I have life coaching available. I have paintings available. I have uh, my custom Words of Clarity deck available. There are so many different things that I have available. And my focus is to get all of it out while I am alive. And so this is evidence of that. And if I can help you with anything, email me. And I'm so grateful for your thumbs up on this video where it resonates with you. You're comment commenting about it. And also, um, would love to do a personal reading specifically for you like this. Imagine the clarity that you can have when one message is channeled specifically and tailored to your specific manifestation desire. Wow, it's so powerful. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your shares, your, all of it. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.